hey guys welcome back to one more episode in this episode we are going to expand on the codes ios application which we were building using core data and we are going to expand it in a way that you add a little more complexity in terms of uh, features like um, more entities right now we have a code entity but then we are going to expand it along with some category entity which can have an uh, relationship a one-to-one -one relationship with uh, the category and there will be an inverse relationship from codes to category which will be one to many so we are also going to have multiple screens created not just one like in the first application but at least we are going to have four screens the transition and uh, database creation is going to happen at each and every layer where uh, categories it will have its own uh, database created uh, as well as codes will have its own database so this is going to be an interesting journey to start with because this um, universe at least the uh, the application which i am already building is going to expand into multiple versions like right now it's starting with we started with the dirty version then we are going to moving towards a cleaner version and then we we will even move towards a, a better architecture like mvvm in the later episodes then maybe we can even venture out into the viper architecture then finally we can maybe wind up with um, the new features uh, available with uh, swift which is more on combined where we can have subscription uh, using publishers also made available so this is what i'm thinking about all of the new features to add into this uh, series of episodes which i'm planning so let's get started we are going to continue building the same app which we are building which is the codes app right now i have modified it to an extent we are going to make bring it maybe like this where uh, we are color coding based on a category so whatever i have added additionally is that um, right now uh, within the database if you see let's let's do codes that is the container that we have right now we have an entity called quote but then additional to that i'll be bringing in something called as a category which can actually bring all those categories for all of these codes that's a relationship that i'm going to bring for uh, on the core data side which is an addition along with uh, um, the add code right now i have moved to a different screen so we'll be able to include more features and uh, dif for different screens where um, uh, I'm I'm right now having this category added where uh, I can choose a category from all of these available plus additionally I can also add a new category if I don't have anything available so that is an additional functionality um, which I have brought in so it's an interesting piece right now where uh, I can have a color picker and everything uh, to maybe uh, suit choose the color and uh, uh, maybe create a legend around what is the category that i have right now so these are some of the changes i have brought in in this code base right now wherever we are moving this code is towards a cleaner uh, way of uh, building let's say using core data or any other kind of database that you're going to include um, so we are right now working with core data, uh, core data so uh, i'll be bringing in more uh, um, the category DB as well into this so that uh, we know how to handle maybe multiple databases or multiple entities within the same um, same application so we are just currently having this single screen which is called codes view controller but then we are going to bring in more this this was the codes view controller which we were having earlier but then I'm going to also include one more for add code and then have one more for the categories and then have one more for the add category so this will make it a little more complex in terms of um, implementations plus um, we can start expanding this application like uh, we are we can move it towards maybe an mvvm uh, uh, after maybe we have done it in the cleaner way right now using core data because again uh, every view controller is going to have a reference to the model not the entity but the model which represents data that's not the real way of uh, maybe if you go to an architect to a mobile architect he might just say that okay you are bringing models which is not maybe a good way to actually program your uh, application he might ask you to maybe even decouple that where that's where maybe a view can view model can come in but then again we will move towards that uh, slowly after maybe have we have completed this uh, feature then we can also have it move to a wiper if 
uh, let's say that is another way of uh, implementing this as well so that is in a, in something i'm also thinking then for further finally maybe we can have it along with combined uh, which might bring in more uh, data binding to this uh, everything that we are doing so combine um, along with swift ui i will not move to swift swift ui yet but then i'm just going to bring in combine as a framework and then include it for all the data bindings at least uh, the delegates which we have implemented can be using uh, done using combine so that's what i am thinking right now in terms of the flow so maybe let's do the first part bit at least that bring all these features which i am showing here as the first steps let's let's do that now so I, i'm going to start with uh, bringing in the entity which is needed for categories so to start um, let me bring the entity needed there called category so i'm going to add that category and it's going to have uh, it's going to have um, some parameters the fields are going to be id i'm going to keep it string because i might just pass a uuid for that and then i'm just going to create uh, a name parameter which is going to be the category name again a string and finally i'm going to have something called as a legend which is more the color which i was talking about so that uh, we can color code each and every category so i uh, for representing that it's going to be hex code so we are going to use some extensions for color so that we can use hex code so these are the three parameters which i am bringing in for uh, um, for this category and the next part is interesting where uh, we need to define the relationship let's say between category and uh, code so every code is going to have a category involved with it so that we can maybe group those uh, codes against a category that means a category is going to have one to n relationship with the code and inversely a code is going to have a one to one relationship with a category that means a code is going to have a category and catheg within a category you can have multiple codes so that's what i'm going to define right now let for that let me let me go to the editor and uh, these are the two two relationship which we created right now and maybe it's better i can show you how the relationship going to be let me add one relationship right now from code i'm going to call something called as a category relationship to the code and i'm going to say it is to category and inverse uh, let me maybe after i have added uh, the category relationship um i will have so if you go to the uh, the properties panel you can see it um the code is going to have a to one relationship with category that i i'm just going to keep this one but if i go back to category i can create a one to n relationship i'm just going to call it codes so that means um, it it's going to have a relationship with code but it's going to have a one to n relationship so for that i will have to make this to many um categories i don't need all of this additional fields because i don't want it ordered and everything it can be in any order so it's going to have a relationship with category inverse relationship is with category so that this also you need to define as per their documentation and within here you have this codes already defined so this is how it is going to be inverse relationship of code uh, is through codes and the direct relationship with categories through this category so this as soon as you add it here you will get it as a property in your um, entity which is the code data entity itself so now uh, if you go to the style you can see that this uh, this relationship is already established uh, so categories having a relationship with uh, a category can have multiple codes whereas a code can have one category so that's what the change we have done right now so this is basically the change what we need on the core data side so let's continue with building the other part now let let's set up the database side right now what we have is this codes uh core data database i'm just going to re rename it so that i can extend it further for let's say categories right now this is just used for uh, 
um, maybe the the quotes database quotes entity right now so maybe i'm going to say uh, maybe replace it or at least rename it as quotes code data database that's one change i'm going to do um because earlier it was only one entity and we were not too much bothered about how we structure this but then we are at a stage where we need to start structuring these things so uh, right now uh, every feature which is needed for from the database is uh, coming through codes db but then i'm just going to start extending these uh, for categories as well because we need some of the, um, some some of the things in even in categories let's say if you see the screen if i go to specifically the categories it is a list view so we need to have an array maintained for that which is again an entity and we also have this add where we need to create a new category so those two features we need to have created through um uh, the database function so let's start with that so i'm going to call this as category um, categories uh, core data database i'm calling it core data still because it let, at least let's say in the future if i take up some um, some tutorial which is around realm i i it will be easier for me to maybe represent that as categories realm database or something and it's it interchangeability will be uh you can really see how the interchangeability between core data and data um the realm can happen at that point so that's why i'm just keeping it as categories code core data database so i'm going to create that now and maybe it, it's more or less going to be the same kind of structure so i'm just going to maybe grab uh, whatever we have um, here it's going to have uh, maybe let me start with creating the or uh, the db site which is the protocol site so i'm gonna call it categories or it's called category yep i'm gonna call it categories db create that it's going to be a protocol and uh, categories db it's it's going to be having more or less the same so this is something i might just change in the future where maybe i i can have it extended uh, uh, better right now i'm just going to maybe uh, i can bring in some kind of a type aliasing here so that i don't need to repeat these things again and again so maybe that you can look look through later so instead of this quote uh, mo model we need right now something called as a category model which can represent the um the transformation needed from let's say an entity to the model so i'm going to create that as well right now so let's create a new file again i'm going to call it category model and um, it's going to be a structure struct category model it's going to obviously have an init uh, which is the regular init which can accept maybe the the name and the legend which is the color which i'm just going to keep it as legend and it can also so and it can have these params it needs to have an id which is string and then it needs to have the name which is again a string and the last part is the legend which is going to be the color or the hex code uh, from the color so that i can retain it so i need to instantiate all that id is going to be udid so i need to import foundation for that and then i can use you create a udid uuid dot udi string name is going to be same name and the legend so that's my uh that's going to be my uh, first init and i also need to have another init which is going to accept um, th this is where the, the transformation will happen let's say from entity to model so i need the using entity function i'm going to pass the entity which is going to be the category model once i have that i can maybe directly set it to id equals entities id so this is really nothing but the transformation which is happening so this is going to be uh 
optional so i'm just keeping it uh, if it, it does not receive any value then i'm just going to keep it to something entity dot name does not have anything i'm gonna keep it maybe it has unknown or something ideally it should not have that that should be a rare case where it does not identify this uh, entity dot legend if it does not identify i'm going to keep it as some black color or something so i'm just going to include that hex code one two three four five six so six zeros is black hex code this is my entities and it's a uh, model so we already have it so let's go back to the categories db where we need to modify this into category model that's my category model it should be categories this is what the array which i am talking about which i was talking about which will hold maybe the um, uh, the array which is needed for the table view to bind to so that is this categories again we have a save function one change i'm going to make here is that uh, this is going to accept a model instead of these parameters same change i might i'll also make it on the codes db side so i'm just going to say using models using model which is going to be the category model so that's the other part and i need to also make that change over here instead of this save author and content i can also pass a model here which is which is what really will be the best way of handling these things uh, similarly for um, responses i'm going to also bring in something called as categories response so if you have watched the earlier episode um so they don't have this yet so let's go back and create one so it was kept somewhere codes database response similarly i need something called as a category database response so again this is to send back all the responses from the database side to the core uh, co view mod uh, the view controller side later when once we moved let's say and we mvm or, um, or a viper then it it will make more sense why uh, i mean at, at least uh, the whole decoupling will work way better than this still it's it's better than uh mvc right now categories uh, uh categories uh, database response again we can maybe it's going to be more or less repetitive even for this so one better way is that uh, we can even extend this to maybe i can just call it database response or something and then move that to that core data database response core data i can just call it database response itself data base response and then move all of these any object which is what was it was conforming even earlier so i'm just keeping that and then this can become database response uh just uh, keeping it uh, with the same I, I i can even directly use this database response but um, i'm just maybe keeping keeping this uh, consistent so similarly i can extend even this categories database response to protocol categories database response implements a uh, database response so both are now conforming to the same kind of protocols there are no much change because it it's not giving much more information than let's say if you see it it's just uh, index path and couple of other functions so i don't need really need to point to a specific uh, type aliasing or maybe a generic type or something that's a reason um, maybe in the future if i have to do that that's a reason maybe i'm just keeping it uh, might not be even needed but uh, just for that a logical separation i just kept it like this so this is going to be used uh, in our uh, core data database uh, like this response here it's core codes database response instead uh, i might just have categories database response going from here so let's create the category res class the database class categories uh, core data database 
what all things it now has implemented earlier let's see that quotes was implementing ns object because um, uh, because it's ca it's having all the references to core data and, and it's uh, all the related things like ns fetch controller and all so that's the reason we will have to have this to ns object okay it should be coming from foundation so import foundation okay that should sort it and then let's create the other things like uh, we need to have a okay some some things which again we are going to re refactor right now is we mean to move out this one because we can only have one container for all the entities but we are using right now uh, for this class we already have one so maybe we'll have to even move that out and maybe optimize it further so let's do start doing that after maybe i have defined uh, it's better that we start th with that itself so whatever i'm going to do is i'm going to create a maybe i'm going to call, call it codes persistence container because let's do codes um, maybe i'll just use that naming itself so i'm just going to create one more file there is a new new file then i'm going to call it codes Persist persistence container and uh, create a class mm, quotes persistence container and I'm gonna have maybe I'll just reference whatever I had created um i'm gonna have a static uh, because we can only have one um one container so i'm just gonna keep it static it does not create more than one instance then let uh, persist it, it's the same thing whatever we have let's say in this um quotes i'm gonna grab the same thing we are already having a persistence container here i'm gonna bring that here and this container was instantiated loading the stores over here so though these two things i'm going to bring it over here right now so persistence container it is going to be ns persistence container equals so instance is going to get created over here and it needs to now return that specific thing so let's create i have this this is what i'm going to return so it can be a let persistence container and i'm going to return the same thing that should sort it but still we need to do some more stuff like uh, that sorted we can also return a context from here so i can have a context so that this becomes a common context uh, for each of each and every class so i need to have this is because it is uh, a static if i need to access that then i need to call the static class and then call the persistence container dot uh, view context i can return this context because this context is needed for um doing anything within these database let's say if you want to do a fetch uh, you need uh, if you need to save let's say you need a context if you want to do a save through the context you need that context so we need to pass around these contexts to do any kind of stuff in within our uh, uh within our database so that's a need, need uh, that's a reason we are having this uh, context reference through this again it's going to only return one instance of that context because this is static uh, so the other part is that uh, because uh, we can already load the databases um, uh, at, at least the stores already so we can even go back and do this stuff as well there so we are already having this persistence store load persistent stores over here you can also do that so if there is any issue it will just stop loading it so this load persistent store call is needed to uh, lo load the store so I'm going to bring that as well. 
so we don't need this part we will still do that within those view controllers itself okay uh cannot reference weak self okay because we are not using it at all so we can just show these errors so as soon as app is launched we will have this instance available as a singleton and then we can access the view con context through this uh, context itself and uh, uh, the persistence container would have loaded the stores needed so that's also taken care here so you will al already see persistence store is loaded successfully a uh, message so uh, as soon as the app launches so that's the other part so some of the things we can start getting rid of are these first part we don't need this here because we will be accessing it through the other class and because you already see some of the references lost this we are already calling there only thing we need to take out is on init maybe through init uh, when once this is instantiated or we access it uh, fetch query happens so we can get rid of this because we are already calling this bit of load persistent stored from here so this will handle there itself so i can get rid of this one cancel can get rid of this bit and i can just keep this um, fetching part of this is fetch results controller for this specific case which is for codes core database um, core codes uh, database so it's already giving one more error persistent store is not available so for that i'm just going to reference i'm going to create a context over here or maybe i can directly call or better that I just create a context that's the only thing which is going to get called let context and is manage context equals I'm going to create the other reference codes persistence container if instance I get the context so that means um, I, this is anyway with a static um, context uh, what even if this is an instance is created persistence container is going to be static because of that uh, context whatever i re i receive will also be an instance so this context is now available i'm going to pass so this should solve that manage context is available and it's again giving all the references are to the context so i'm just going to replace all the contexts with that and even this one saving is happening here that's also sorted so this save is going to again change because right now it's only saving the um, um the um, the code without the category that's a change which is going to happen i'm going to show you how uh, the relationship can be accessed and then we can do the save here so that's bit that bit is done so we have a better cleaner code right now because um, uh, we have moved some of the things to let's say here and this is now available for consumption even in our other bit which is uh, which is on this side right now which is categories we need to start building everything for categories so more or less some of the things are going to remain the same which is shared is going to be the same context is going to be the same delegate we are going to make it as categories uh, database response fetch results controller is going to remain the same but uh, the change being that uh, it's going to be a fetch on category and then we'll have to do re just return that and we'll call the fetch perform on the other one so let's bring this part and then uh, implement categories db as well and then we have the other three things done so let's get uh, on with that right now so let's go back categories database first thing I'm going to have is an init which is going to be a private init that's done and it's going to ask me to override because it's in it is implementing ns object that's done so i know i also have to call super dot init that's also done now the second part is the other part is that i need to share this as a static let shared instance through categories db so now it should ask me to implement a categories db and i'm just going to instantiate this one cat uh, categories db code database 
okay it's going to ask me now to implement that so let's extend that bit extension categories core database implement implements category db should let me implement those things done categories is implemented delegate i need though these three things i'm just going to keep this function and move other bit uh, to the other side so i don't need all these i can maybe keep only the this reference because anyway other the function which is going to use or at least the class which is going to use the instance which is going to use has to instantiate this one so i might have to currently i'm just going to return empty because i still need to bring in all the all the things uh, which are needed for returning the entity so we are fine right now let's bring the other parts needed so i need to start returning categories which is through the entity do i have the entity no so first thing is i need to do a similar call like this to fetch the results through a fetch controller so i need a fetch controller for category create that fetch controller create a controller fetch request i need to create create a fetch controller pass that controller pass the uh, in pass the context and then set that delegate uh, so that i start receiving the changes through ns fetch results controller delegate and also i will get those entities through the fetch controller so let's do all these things this is more or less going to be the same maybe i can again create that so i'm gonna say uh, private where keeping it where because we have a delegate to be implemented if you keep it let i'll show you what happens let um, controller controller it's going to be the uh, fetch results controller do we need to pass uh we need to pass the category there which is that category and we need to create an instance and return that so let's do that bit I'm gonna call it uh, the controller so we first thing is that we need a fetch uh, request which should be through the ns fetch request and i need to pass the type which is category and i need to create a fetch request using category dot fetch request so that's my fetch request step second step is that i need to create the controller ns fetch request controller pass category create a fetch request controller pass fetch request which we have created in the first step fetch request then context we need to get the context over here so let's create that context let context private let context um which is going to be through the other class which we created the quotes uh, persistence container dot context will give us that and so i can just pass that context over here rest of the things i can keep nil and then i just need to return this return controller so this is enough so it's already asking something over here do you mean to use the value context database did you mean to use so what is the error there okay as soon as i make it lazy i cannot have a let so i need to create a var out of it so that's it. another reason and now we need to also set controller dot delegate equal to self so it's already going to ask me to implement ns uh, fetch controller delegate so I, let's implement that so this is the one which is going to give us all the changes which are happening let's say uh from from the uh, from the database which we need to propagate to maybe the table view or any other layer which is consuming or listening to these changes so that's also done but it's not it those functions are all optional but all the functions which we need are these ones 
we need to uh, listen to controller will change content or uh, controller did change content and also receive the index path the uh, new index path which is uh, changing so that we get access to all the change things so uh, let's add these things now okay let's go back so we need build change controller will change content controller did change content and then the last one is controller so many are there i think this one should be fine yeah did change um at index path whatever we are interested in is are on these type and the new index path so those are the things we are interested in so we have all these three now we need we can start calling the delegates over subscribe to will listen to the begin update will go through when whenever there is a will change is happening and delegate dot end update so that's another callback which will go through and the third part is uh, we can now listen to changes which is happening we are looking more on the um, insert side because we are only going to create uh, at this point we are not deleting any categories as yet we are only going to listen to all the inserts which are happening which we might have to propagate back so type i'm gonna say it needs to implement it, we only need the inserts so rest of the things we can keep it as default uh, and then remove all of the other calls and break over here and even break this one and then we can just say uh, delegate if let's say uh, if let index path equals I am looking at the new index path new index path if, it, if that's available I'm gonna call the delegate dot insert at index path so index path I can use so that's pretty much uh, what I need right now so all the implementations on the delegate side is done say we need to implement still and we also need to instantiate the fetch over here similar to like here I do I do need to call the uh, do try catch it's again a similar call so I can maybe grab this on in whenever this class is instantiating I need to perform a fetch so that I get I can at least get those change uh, I can subscribe to those changes which is happening so I just need to call this it is going to be the controller I just made it fetch controller instead of just calling it controller and I'm calling the perform fetch function over here so that that bit is done so I think this this implementation will start make us at least start receiving the changes which is happening from the database so the final bit which is uh, pending now is to write the save function so even let's complete that and move to the next bit which is actually creating the view controller for categories and binding everything so let's start with uh, let's finally implement this save which is almost okay we also have this um, entities creation bit pending we have just created that so uh, similar to this we need to call the fetched objects so um, as soon as you call perform fetch you get all the objects which is needed and we can access all that object through fetch controller dot fetch object so let's even do this it's 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 a similar thing uh, only change which is going to happen here is let's go here it's category model is what we are tra transforming it to so we can just say um, uh, if let or maybe you can call guard let uh, card statement let entities equals uh, controller dot uh, fetched objects if that is existing if not let's return an empty array if not I can transform this and return so entities dot compact map which avoids any kind of uh, null objects being passed because we already have created within uh, the category model and in it which can accept the entity so I can just use that using entity I just pass the dollar zero so because compact map is going to give me one by one of these entities which I'm passing and transforming so ideally this should work it should not give me any 
it's it's compiling and all build is successful so this is also done so i have all the categories needed because as soon as i do the perform fetch my categories uh, array is ready for consumption at least on the database uh, on the table view side i can bind it and any change which further happens will come through this and any insert i'm passing this insert and my table view will be listening to this insert and then it can insert the new changes which is happening so this this bit is also done let's finally do the save before we move to the ui back the view controller back to view controller so save is more or less going to be the same i am going to also change this one after i have modified it i'm i it's better that we pass a model than this so i'm going to use this model to build up so save is using a category model so i can let's say uh let entity right where i want to save right now it's going to be of type category equals category i can pass the context we already have the context so that creates the context now i can use this i can maybe i can just call it category itself so category is going to have a id which is again coming through the uh, model itself so i can just call it model dot uh, id category dot name is going to be model dot name you can even i can write a transformer for this so that we don't need to do all of this maybe for the coming episode it will be better that i maybe try to transform this so that it becomes a common logic for each and every uh, every uh, entity which you are using where a model gets transformed to a entity something like that so after this is done i can just call the so that you, this is not going to persist anything so we need to call still call the context dot save function to persist this so it's going to give me error so i need to do a do try catch for error i'm just going to say let error save error equals error as um ms error then i can just maybe print that save category save failed with this specific error that's it so this this bit is also done save error i can use so this save is also done so we are very close to moving back to the other side so uh, all of the functions which are needed um, or all the implementation which are needed on the core data a uh, categories core database side is done so we will have to just consume this on the other side similar to how let's quickly review something is missed uh, okay i was also talking about modifying this because right now uh, with the save there is one more change which has happened right now which is on uh, the other bit which is i can using model i maybe i'm just going to change that to quote model so because of that uh, right right now it's giving an error it, uh, we are going to refactor even this bit model dot author then I have a model dot content and even I think it's better that we get the timestamp as as well from model timestamp that's also received three things done so because of this uh, there is a change which is triggered over here which I can handle instead here I just need to use say using model and that is going to be uh, the quote model so i guess that should resolve that we are not yet done we still need to do a bit of change here to accept the category using which the save has happened so for that we still need to make some more changes so let's get on with that in a bit now let's complete the last bit on the database side which is to add uh, the category along with the quote so for that we need to um, create a category fetch call and then bring that category 
so for that i can create a fetch fetch request for the category and um, <clears throat> use that to um create a fetch um fetch using the context so i can use context dot fetch i can just pass the category fetch and that in turn will give me <clears throat> so it will ask you to do try catch and all so maybe i already have a do try uh, maybe you can pass within this so even before we say we can run this fetch so even before running so i have a context can need to have a try context dot fetch is done now this should ideally give me a result but still i need to filter on these results to see um the specific um id on which i need the category so for that i can use the model dot uh, category so we don't have the category associated with the model yet so let's go back to quote model and create something called as a category which is going to be category model so this is the one to one uh, association within the model which will like get translate even on the uh, view model side uh, or at least on the entity side so i as soon as i have that so one thing i need to make a change here is that um, it is accepting author content and maybe i can also pass the category category model <laughs> so that this is also accepted uh, with this call self dot category equals uh, category so that's also taken care it's also asking here so the same thing can happen even do i need to bother about that let me check once so quote model can accept a category so through quote itself this is again a transformation so one good part is that uh, if let's say i have to transform the category so then again uh, this is a model and whatever we have here is an entity so entity transform to a model can also happen so what all that i need to do here is to use the entity to transform it so i can just pass entity dot we already know the category association which we had created uh, over here so it's giving me an error okay, one, one thing i'm going to change here is that uh, i'm going to accept uh, <clears throat> a category like this and so that should take care so it's an optional type which i'm passing here so that we don't get this error so it's accepting an optional here so whatever is happening is it's transforming um <clears throat> if uh, the category model does not have anything maybe we are setting all, all these uh, unknown things plus the default ones so that's what you are doing while transforming the model object that's not that um, that's more to mock if let's say something is missing so otherwise this should not happen ideally so this is also taken care so still we have five errors let's see um what all things they are so there is a change which has happened right now here uh Codes DB does not conform to. Okay, this is more the Realm database which we had created for the last episode. Maybe we can fix those as well. So what change has happened is that we need to have this save function. That's only change. This modifies. So this is the good part about conforming to protocol. So that if something needs to be conformed for some change, then it's easy to just change those protocols and then. Improve um to implementation based on the protocol so that bit is done <clears throat> so like i said the category now will start coming through um at this uh through this so maybe for the time being it's asking for what is the save about so quotes is having uh even we need to pass a model right now that's a change we did so 
maybe let's convert that into a model to quote model so if you go to save you will see that it's using a model which should be of quote model type quote model which can accept uh, the author uh, we already have the author then the content we already have the content and now we also need the category which is not there yet but um, we'll we'll start building that for the time's sake i'm just going to create um category it's asking for a, we all we don't have a, <clears throat> so category needs a name and a legend so those are the two things to basically create a model uh, the category uh, type but uh, this is going to come through anyway through once we implement it so um as a first step maybe whatever i can do is i'm gonna keep this uh, okay we have some more errors to fix but even before that let's try to fix the other things um which is this quote mo quote model uh, is accepting this and uh, maybe let's do this uh, it's not going to have might just crash, start crashing so let's maybe not do that yet um category model maybe let's bring that in right away i may i'm just going to create some something random dummy right now as a category which we will replace once we have the implementation ready category so using a legend name maybe um i'm just going to pass empties we'll replace this so it's more like a fix me for me replace with the uh, real implementation okay so i'm gonna, gonna just pass this so that uh, we are not we don't have these uh, errors right now so the other bit is uh, over here requires uh, confirm string protocol so we need to pass the category which we created and through that we need to get the id so that's what we were trying to do here because of which we had this error so now all that we need is the first uh, object of this um, at least like whatever right now happened is we went back to fix some of the things but let me make it clear over here uh, so through codes we were expecting to have a category also saved because of that we created a fetch request on a category and then passed it to the context to fetch category and we are filtering based on the id on which we are we need that specific category and fetching the first so that we get that first object uh, which we need so this is going to give me uh, if let category equal to context so i think we can keep uh, so this fetch is going to give me the first category so it says expression type category is unused so we need to start using that so let's go back So this should be happening with the uh, save so all that i need to do is um if let um category quills try if there is a value we consume that and then we can always set that to code dot category equals this category so that's what we were trying to do so Quote has a category one to one association. That's what we grabbed here. And then if that value is existing, we are setting it. And then once you save it, the association will automatically happen. So that's what we did right now. And over here, we have a categories, which we I added it over here, the, um, the category model. I tried to make it optional, which is not needed. Anyway, we have covered it for the time's sake. 
some errors maybe I can just do a clean build okay that's good so we we are not yet there we we have we are only done with the database side right now we still have to cover and work on other things which is creating you uh, the view controllers for all of this so let's get started with that now